story recap here. Today, I'm going to explain a horror and thriller film called In the Forest. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Helen goes on a camping trip with her daughter Emily and her dad Stan. On the way to the camping site, the mother and daughter already get into a bit of a disagreement, both not being fond of each other. That's the reason why Stan suggested for them to go camping on the first place, so they can try getting along. Upon arriving in the forest, Stan and Emily set up the tents while Helen gets some firewood. Then, as she goes into the woods, Stan reminds her that she should play dead if she sees a bear. By the time Helen gets back, the other two have already managed to set up their tents, so they proceed to go fishing by the lake. However, when Stan excuses himself to go pee in their RV, he sees their vehicle door open. After calling out to whoever may be there, Stan sees Howard, the landowner, holding a shotgun. He tells Stan that they're on a private property and need to leave. And although Stan tries to negotiate with him, asking if they can leave the next day, Howard tells him that they need to go right away. So they pack up right away. But unfortunately, their RV gets stuck. They then try to get the vehicle off the tracks, but Helen accidentally drives over a small piece of metal and injures Stan. Stan immediately starts bleeding, so Helen and Emily freak out and argue about what to do. Emily suggests going to Howard for help, while Helen says that they should just wait for him to return to them. Trying to stop her stubborn daughter from talking to the stranger, Helen borrows Emily's phone to check for a signal on top of the RV, but to no avail. She then gets back on the RV and just honks non-stop, thinking it will get Howard's attention, but Emily thinks that it's a stupid idea. With no help on the way, the three end up staying the night and decided to look for help the following day. The next morning, Helen keeps the fire going hoping to catch Howard's attention with the smoke, but Emily still thinks it's stupid to wait around, so she proposes for someone to go and look for help. However, Helen thinks it's too dangerous to split up. They wake up from a nap later, with Stan's condition worsening as he groans in pain, so Helen finally leaves to look for help. As Helen ventures into the woods to look for Howard while using red cups to mark her trail, she comes across a house, yet no one seems to be inside. Helen calls out, knocking, but when no one answers, she lets herself in the dilapidated house. Inside, she immediately tries to use the landline but realizes it's broken. Then, while looking around, she hears a thumping sound upstairs. Helen follows the sound and comes across a padlocked room, and she sees a young boy, Andrew, locked inside, connected to a harness that prevents him from moving too far. The boy pleads for help looking for his sister, but Helen's too distraught and backs away from the door, planning to leave. Unfortunately, Howard returns to the house, so Helen runs back up the stairs and hides inside the bathroom. When Howard brings Andrew a sandwich and paints the boy's nails, Andrew tells him that there's a woman inside the house who left. Howard then immediately stands to look for the intruder, but not before making Andrew take his pills. Of course, Howard doesn't forget to lock the door as he leaves Andrew. After hearing the entire conversation, Helen immediately takes her chance to sneak out, avoiding Howard who's trying to look for her. Meanwhile, Howard takes the broken piece of the landline on top of the door to make the phone work, calling and informing someone that they've been compromised. On the other hand, Helen runs back to Andrew to check on him. Apparently, Andrew has been locked in that room ever since he was young while his sister is being kept in the basement. Helen apologetically tells him that she needs to go help her family, but she promises him that she'll come back with help. Next, she tries to go to the basement where Andrew's sister is allegedly being held, but she changes her mind and ends up running away instead. Back at the campsite, Emily hears an ATV approaching and sees Howard outside, angry that they haven't left yet. Emily tries to explain mentioning that Helen is looking for him. Howard continues to ask her questions but Emily sees her mom approaching behind Howard, gesturing for her to act normally as she takes a piece of firewood. Helen hits Howard from behind and knocks him out, making Emily freak out. But Helen explains that he has someone locked up in his house. They then tie up an unconscious Howard. And after taking a shotgun from the ATV, Helen tells Emily to watch over him. She makes Emily hold the shotgun, instructing her to shoot the man if he moves. She tries to bring Stan with her back to the house where she saw a truck, but he can't even manage to stand up anymore. So Helen takes the truck keys from Howard's pocket and runs back to the house to take the vehicle. Unfortunately, it's out of gas, so she returns inside the house to look for a refill. Back at the RV, Howard warns Emily that Helen will be in trouble if she goes back to the house because it's dangerous there, but Emily doesn't believe him. In the house, Helen goes back to help Andrew and asks him if there are any extra gas cans around. Unfortunately for Helen, 
Andrew says that it's in the basement. Unable to get Andrew out of the harness, she goes down to the basement first, promising him that she'll find something that she can use to free him. Downstairs, Helen finds the gas can in the box cutter. But before she goes back upstairs, she sees a suspicious looking cooler, so she goes back to check it. She approaches the cooler with extreme caution, a bit apprehensive, and as she opens it, she sees a bunch of frozen groceries. She then runs back up to release Andrew, who immediately asks about his sister, but Helen says she didn't see anyone downstairs. Andrew isn't too pleased with the response, getting frantic and saying Helen is lying. So he grabs the box cutter from Helen and slams her against the wall. Meanwhile, Andrew's parents, Pamela and Gary, arrive and immediately try to subdue him. But Andrew bites Gary's hand and flees. Angry that her son has escaped, Pamela takes Helen captive. The poor woman slowly wakes up later, strapped to the harness with her limbs tied up. She begs for Pamela to release her so she can help Stan, but Pamela has no plans of letting her go because she saw Andrew. Pamela asks what Andrew told Helen, and so she tells her that he was looking for his sister. Pamela then explains that his sister died years ago, and now Pamela is blaming Helen for letting her remaining child go. Meanwhile, Emily checks on Stan to make sure he's okay, but while she's not looking, Andrew arrives at the RV and starts dragging Howard by his ankles. Emily runs outside with a shotgun, but Howard tells her not to shoot Andrew because he's sick. Emily fires a warning shot, but it doesn't face Andrew as he continues dragging Howard into the river and mercilessly drowns him. That night, Emily locks herself inside the RV, shouting at Andrew to go away. On the other hand, Andrew pleads to be let in because he's cold and hungry, but Emily won't let him. So he goes to the back of the vehicle and throws a rock through the window, letting himself in. Because of that, Emily panics and immediately locks herself in the bathroom even though Andrew tells her that he won't hurt her. He tells Emily that Helen is in their house with his sister and apologizes for scaring her. But Emily's having none of it, especially after seeing him kill Howard. However, Andrew justifies what he did, saying that his family is poisoning him and that's why he's sick. Back at the house, Pamela tries a different approach in obtaining information from Helen trying to bring her a plate of food and telling her that they'll help Stan if she tells her where their campsite is. However, Helen is understandably distrustful, so Pamela starts getting aggressive once more, forcing the information out of Helen, and Helen eventually tells her where their campsite is. Pamela tells Gary to go to the campsite immediately, but they argue about what to do about Stan. Gary is a bit reluctant about what's going on, trying to convince Pamela that they should disappear with Andrew once they find him and let Helen go. But Pamela says she isn't running anymore. Andrew wakes up when he hears Gary arrive at the campsite and immediately warns Emily not to get caught by him or else they'll poison and lock her away as well. Andrew then hides inside the bedroom, but Gary thinks he's inside the bathroom, not knowing it's Emily. So while he's preoccupied with checking out the bathroom, Andrew comes out and bashes his head with a rock until he dies. The next morning, Pamela is getting anxious that Gary still hasn't returned home yet angry at Helen, thinking she deceived them about the camp location. Helen pleads for mercy, but Pamela thinks that she'll tell the police about them and they will take her son away because nobody understands their situation. In the RV, Andrew successfully baits Emily into coming out of the bathroom by telling her that Stan isn't breathing anymore. She then immediately checks on Stan, but he's still alive fortunately. Andrew asks Emily for help to go back to the house so they can save his sister. But Emily can't ignore the fact that Andrew killed two people already. However, Andrew tells her that he's been kept prisoner all his life and he only wishes to save his sister. So eventually, Emily comes with him to save her mother as well, but not without taking a screwdriver to protect herself from him in case he tries anything funny. Meanwhile, Pamela leaves to look for her husband and son, so Helen takes her chance to escape. Unfortunately, she can't break free from the harness. She then looks around the room for whatever may help her escape, so she uses a drawer to break a window, hoping to cut through the harness with a piece of glass but to no avail. Instead of giving up, Helen looks inside the closet and takes the rod for the hangers, using it to bust through the thin plaster walls. She crawls through a small hole and finds the box cutter on a dresser table, forcing herself to reach it. On the other hand, Pamela finds Gary dead at the campsite, so she kills Stan making it too late for Helen to save him when she escapes and returns to their vehicle. While driving back home, Pamela sees Helen running through the fields, so she turns back to run her over. However, Helen takes a zigzag course until she reaches the woods, escaping Pamela. Andrew and Emily get back to the house, so he brings her upstairs to where Helen was held, but she isn't there anymore. With Helen gone, 
Andrew goes straight to the basement to look for his sister, but Emily is too scared to follow even when he asks for her help. Unfortunately, she gets pushed down the stairs by Pamela and the woman locks them both inside. As Emily wakes up, she sees Andrew's sister, Natalie, and they both get terrified and start screaming. So Andrew immediately covers Emily's mouth, telling her she's scaring Natalie. Luckily, Helen is already back inside the house looking for Emily, hears her scream and quickly runs downstairs. Andrew asks for her help, so Helen tries to approach Natalie gently, but she's too apprehensive. With no other choice, Helen convinces Andrew to go with them and leave Natalie, saying they need to hide from Pamela so they can escape and call for help. Unfortunately, on their way out, Pamela ambushes them with a gun and shoots Helen. She then starts to choke Helen, and while Emily tries to pry her away from her mother, Andrew pulls her away. While losing the fight against Pamela, Helen remembers Stan's advice to play dead when she encounters a bear, so she pretends to pass out. Pamela then knocks Emily out and ties her up, but Helen takes a piece of the fence and slowly crawls behind Pamela before stabbing her repeatedly. Meanwhile, Andrew just watches all of this unfold as Emily wakes up and hits Pamela on the back of the head with a shovel. They steal the keys to the truck and try to drive away, but while Helen struggles to start the engine, Pamela gets up to grab Emily. However, Helen soon manages to start the vehicle and back up, killing Pamela as they slam her body into a tree. They then drive away, leaving Andrew and Natalie behind. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.